What happens when a buyer asks the seller to pay closing costs? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Nicholas Schrader, one half of the Schrader Brothers, Berkshire Hathaway Results Realty. And in this episode, I want to talk about closing costs and when a buyer asks the seller to pay all or a portion of those. How does that work? How does a buyer look at it? And how does a seller look at it? So let's break it down. A home is on the market for, let's use a round number and say $200,000. Your expected closing costs in Florida, we generally say roughly 4%. That does not include your down payment. That does not include your inspection, your appraisal. That is simply your closing costs. So on $200,000, you're looking at roughly $8,000 in closing costs. Now, if you are doing an FHA loan, maybe you're doing 3.5% down. So that would be your down payment. You would have your other fees would be on top of that. So let's talk about how a seller looks at an offer where you are requesting closing costs. You're offering, the home is on the market for $200,000. You want to offer $195,000. Okay, that's a $5,000 discount. Now, maybe you want to 2% of your closing costs paid by the seller. That is an additional $4,000. So let's break down that offer. $200,000 home, you're offering $195,000, and you're asking for 2% in closing costs. Now you're asking for $9,000 off the cost of the home. So a seller is going to see that as now you're offering essentially $191,000 on their $200,000 list price. So you have to look at that when you're a buyer. You see it as just an offer at $195,000 and the $4,000 is just being paid by the seller. But remember, it is being paid by the seller, so it is money out of their pocket. It is money off their bottom line. So they're going to take that into consideration. A offer of $194,000 asking for zero closing costs is now better than your $195 offer asking for an additional $4,000 in closing costs. So keep that in mind whenever you're gonna go and construct those offers. A lot of offers aren't necessarily based, or the best offer isn't necessarily based solely on price. It is based on terms. It is based on whether you're asking for seller concessions or not. It's based on how quick you can close because think about this, if you're the seller, if you can close your home in 15 days, now you're not making a next mortgage payment. Yes, there will be a prorated amount, but that money will not be coming out of your pocket. So you have to think like a seller whenever you're making your offer. The quicker you make an inspection, period, the quicker that seller knows whether you're gonna move forward. The more you put down for your escrow deposit, the more it looks like you're serious about making that home your home. So again, as a buyer, just think about when you construct your offer, how a seller is going to look at it. And just remember that with closing costs, that is money that you are asking the seller to pay and that's coming off of their bottom line. So again, on a $200,000 home, if you make a full price offer at $200,000, but you ask that seller to pay all of your closing costs, that's still, you're really offering $192,000. So. One more time, just make sure whenever you are making those offers, you are taking the seller's point of view into account because you want them to accept your offer, so you wanna make the best offer possible. Guys, we do these videos each and every Monday to inform sellers and buyers how to be more informed, how to be better buyers and sellers. You can always check out our website at liveflowlife.com and we would appreciate it if you're liking the videos to go ahead and subscribe, click that little bell. That way you get the alerts when the new videos hit. Again, it's each Monday at one o'clock is when these videos are posted, but we'd love for you to subscribe. We'd love for you to get those alerts and help us build our page. Thanks again, guys, and we hope to talk to you soon.